your host. With me, my good friend and special guest, Russ Cook with Russ Cook and Associates over in Brentwood, Tennessee. Russ is a board certified estate planning attorney. That's all he does, in fact, is estate planning, tax, tax law and that are his specialties. And he's probably, I, I don't know, a handful of maybe in the, and definitely in Middle Tennessee, there's only a few that are board certified. So mm -hmm. that's a, he's a, he's a, one of the things in working with Russ over the years with my clients, what I've found is that we've done planning and I've had a lot of clients that have passed away after doing planning for them. So not only have I seen the value of uh, the working with Russ and helping my clients up front and giving them that peace of mind, but more importantly, I've also seen on the other end that the documents did exactly what the clients intended them to do, wanted them to do, met their goals uh, when a time came that we had to administer those estates. So this is a, you know, uh, so I can't recommend Russ enough to you mm -hmm. that are uh, looking. In fact, uh, one more thing, and I'm always happy to t share with you. If you go in to see Russ and call him directly, Russ Cook and Associates over in Brentwood, Tennessee, you know, he's got a, of course, uh, he's got a business. So to pay the bills in that business, she's got to charge you to come see him. And his hourly rate is around $350 to come see Russ. So guess what? Russ is going to be gracious enough to do for us. For the first 10 callers to my show today, there it is, 615-376-5325. If you come into the office, we're going to send you out a little checklist of things to bring to your appointment. This is for a retirement income analysis. This will include an investment analysis, uh, a, a full comprehensive plan. It's not just a visit. If it takes me two or three visits even to get this plan done for you, so be it, no charge. In addition, Russ will meet with us, okay, at no charge to you as well. So if you come through my office, because I'll do a lot of preliminary things for him and because he's, we've known each other for a long time and he's really been very, very good to, uh, to, to my clients, this is one of the things that he's offered up as well, is he'll come and do a consultation at no charge. So you want to take advantage of that, 615-376-5325, Debbie's standing by, she'll get your information, send you out the checklist of things to bring and either ahead of time or depending on how long or when you come in, we'll also give you a copy of my book, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom and Retirement. Chapter seven in the book, in fact, is on estate planning. And guess what? Russ is one of the people that went through that chapter for me and, and edited and offered great suggestions which have been incorporated into the book as well. So take a look at that. Speaking of chapter seven, <laughs> there's the book. Chapter 7, and it talks about probate in here, and there's a great little flow chart about the process of probate, or at least what it can be. We've talked about some of the things like privacy. If you'd like to keep your affairs private, one way to do that is through a trust as opposed to a will, which is a public, uh, in fact, you can go down, and I've done this, go down to probate, and you can, uh, into the clerk's office, you can, they'll show you where <laughs> the files are, and they're open to the public. You can go open up the, the cabinets there, the file drawer, and I always look for the big folders. I figure they got the most money, right? <laughs> and I pull those out, and I can I would page through there, and I'm amazed. I see everything they owned. I see what the process was. I see who the beneficiaries are with their addresses. My goodness, now, if I want to sell somebody something, as an example, right? What better place to go to get some leads, right? Here's this person who's just going to get a bunch of money. Maybe I want to get to know that person. Okay? I mean, this is, these are the kind of things. You want to keep it private? Is This is one other reason you can help protect your heirs. Another is the time involved. Probate's going to take typically about 9 to 12 months. Fair mm -hmm. to say? Yeah. And that's I if everything say. goes smoothly. That's right. With a, with, a, with a trust, on the other hand, how long would administration be? Well, it's just how long does it take the family member who's appointed to transfer the assets? So basically, it can be done in a matter of weeks, and we've done these all, we do them all the time in helping all my clients. This is one of the things that I offer up to them is that if they, you know, when they pass, I will be there for the family, for the kids, and help them uh, in the end, or for the widow, if it's a widow or widower if in that situation, to help them with that administration. And Russ has always been a great resource for me in that as well. The cost part of it, and this is one of those areas that's a little iffy, right? I mean, yeah. it's, everybody says it's very low, but it kind of depends, right? Yeah, it does depend. Uh, the courts don't necessarily set a cost for attorneys, so it just depends on how much work is involved in the case, what type of attorney you get to do it. Uh, obviously, if you're having an attorney that doesn't do this all the time, it might be they spend a lot more time on your case learning it while they're doing it. 
and uh, it just depends on the county too. Some counties require more paperwork and more effort on behalf of the the estate than others. So you're really kind of a, uh, I mean, it's just kind of throwing the dice in that yeah. respect. Exactly. So you, you don't know. Now this is one of the things, trusts typically are going to cost more than a will to get set up up front, and that's going to be your trade-off. It's kind of like you pay a little bit more now, and you avoid that cost later. Now maybe the costs are equal, in which case, well, you're not really out anything. Most likely the costs are at least going to be a little bit more on the probate side, and again, it's up to, it depends on the court, the county, uh, excuse me, the attorney and the county as to what that cost might be. So if you'd like to control that and know exactly what your cost is, this is one of the benefits that having a trust, you'll know exactly what you're into, okay? And as long, and here's the other part that's real important. When it comes to setting up a trust, there's going to be a little bit of uh, more work involved in doing so, all right? This is where having a good advisors around uh, can be a big benefit to you. With my clients, when we work with Russ, I'm very much a part of that process in helping with the planning with them and making sure that everything gets done. Russ is excellent when it comes to uh, sitting down and listening very, uh, very uh, closely to what people are looking for. He and I, a lot of times, will talk back and forth to make sure you know we get the questions out so people can think about you know these things and make sure they're going to get exactly what they want. Uh, the other part of that then is when it comes to getting the trust set up, Russ has all the documents, he makes sure the real estate is taken care of, and then the other assets, that's that part I take care of. And this can again be a, it's so important because otherwise, Russ, I know in the past, uh, and, you've, and I think you've done some steps to, to help change this, but in the past people would get their documents done and then go home and in the drawer it goes. And basically the very thing they were looking to do, or one of the main things to avoid probate, uh, they, if they don't get it funded, if they don't get those assets transferred in trust, they're not going to avoid mm -hmm. probate. That's true because the trust itself is designed to be funded during your life. What that means is that once you sign the document, you want to make sure you transfer your assets to the trust because if you don't, then we may have to go through probate just to get them transferred into the trust at your death. The whole point of the trust is to give you the control over how the assets are distributed at death without people knowing about it, but that also means that you have to make sure you take that extra step to fund the trust. And it's not really a difficult process, especially when you have someone on your side who can help you know, as a financial advisor to do it. And our role in the process is we normally get the real estate funded in, and then mm -hmm. we'll rely on folks like Hank to kind of get the assets transferred in, which is a very important step to it all. Right. And do your, does your office, if you have someone, say someone that comes in, they don't have an advisor like me that stays so much hands-on, do they, you know, is it, do you help them in that, or do you have a service you provide for them? We do, but it's an extra 1500 bucks or $2,000 to do it. So. Um, and a lot of folks when given the choice will say, well, I'll just do it, but we've run into a lot of estates where people don't end up getting it done. Right. So it's really key to have uh, a good advisor who can necessarily get this done. I know when we've worked together, you've right. been very proactive in making sure that that's complete because uh, most of the times, you know, if you're doing it yourself, you may miss one thing or another. This is one of the things. I've been doing estate planning because I'm a accredited estate planner as well. And this is, and have been for, I don't know, something like 20 years now. One of the things that goes with that is understanding the after part. Okay, I've been, when I started working with estate planning back 20 years ago, and this is, you know, I was already six years into my practice at that point. One of the things that I found was that I had a lot of people in their 70s, mid 70s, late and, and 80s even, of course, that were becoming clients at that time because people tend to put off the estate planning part, right? That, well, I'll get to that sometime, right? Well, this is one of the things that when it, when it comes to estate planning, the sooner the better. As I said, you can always amend and change. But having seen that happen, I also, of course, over these 20 years, have lost a lot of clients through, you know, that have passed on. And I've uh, been involved in the administration of the states and have run into those rare occurrences where things weren't done right uh, when they had, uh, or with my financial clients before I got into estate planning, seeing the kind of things they ran into with regard to probate and the issues that it created uh, for them. So one of the things, and, or 
were having a trust and it wasn't funded. So it's real easy for an advisor like myself because I'm already handling the finances. So if you come in and we've got, once the trust is set up, and we do our regular reviews even, I'm making sure that your stuff is staying uh, funded in the way that it needs to do to make sure that that trust, in fact, does for you all, your, all the trouble you went to estate plan in doing this estate plan is going to hold up. And that's one of the advantages of uh, having an advisor, uh, a good financial advisor that's going to meet with you on a regular basis that understands estate planning, that works closely with an estate planning attorney, and for that matter gets into the tax planning aspects with a good with the accountants in that as well. So we bring, it's a team approach that gives you the best result. And, uh, and that's what we do. So when they come in, after the trust is done, they'll come into my office and I make sure that either the beneficiary designations are done correctly, assets are transferred in that need to be transferred in, and then on reviews we're always checking to make sure if new assets are gained or assets are moved around, that in fact the plan still stays intact, that those things are titled properly and again beneficiary designations are stayed up with. And if there's any changes, we, we incorporate those in uh, at those reviews as well. All right, we're going to take another break. When we come back, I'm going to get into trust more because we've been talking about just some basic things about probate, but I also want to talk to you about one of the really beautiful things about trust that you can get, and this is about asset protection that you can provide your children and your grandchildren. This is one of the things, one of the things people really don't understand, and if you have special needs children, this is even more important, but even for your, well, anyway, we're going to get into it when we come back. Quick break. Join us here. We'll be right back on a retirement report. Thank you.